Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakar Kadash. Double honor to our elders and apostles for teaching us the truth of this Bible. And Shalom to all you brothers out there pushing this word to the best of your ability. Yeah, man. So Jake just reading this article right here, man. You know, this perfectly lines up with a scripture that I got coming up for it. This is a. Uh, let me see, slot. Is uh, the one thing you need to do now to protect yourself from bank fraud. You know, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing you can do to protect yourself from bank fraud. You know. You know, people still putting their trust in, uh, and you know, there being a way of no type of bank fraud. You know, that's crazy, man. Is uh, the number of Americans impacted by financial fraud has increased every year since 2014. And security experts predict it will only become more common. Kind, you know. So we we already know the t the evil times we in. You know, it's only going to get worse, man. You know, what well, the scriptures say? The uh, it says uh, you know, for the uh, um, basically, you know, more uh, the love of many should wax cold. You know, so you're gonna have, you have people out here. You have more people losing their jobs. You know, they ain't gonna give a damn, man. They're gonna be they're ready to uh they're ready to take your money. You know? Uh, you got some money or uh, whoever got some money on their on their card or whatever, man. You know, they're ready to take it. So that's why, you know, Esau is gonna be able to easily push the keep pushing articles like this, you know. He could easily uh be like, oh, you know, you just take that chip, you know, you won't have to worry about anything. You know, there's all kind of uh of uh of security uh beneficials to it you know you know, it's, it's esau gonna push push that heavy but uh let me see more than 16 million americans were victims of fraud last year resulting in almost 17 billion of lost 17 uh 17 billion dollars of losses for u.s consumers according to a study by javelin res i mean strategy and research as tactics used by fraudsters events it becomes harder for the average consumer to identify a scam when they see one kind so issue is going to push this this fraud stuff heavy you know this hacking and this fraud stuff you know you know who hey you know for idiots who uh think about taking that chip you know who who's to say you can't you can't hack into that you know, of course, Esau's gonna say you can't, can't uh, hack into that. Let's see. Uh, so you know, it, 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 for our people, you know, it's just like, why? Uh, you know, that's a perfect example of this scripture right here. You know, who the hell wants to uh, set up a, a, a college fund or a, a, a retirement f fund? You know. You know, uh, who, who the hell wants to set up money for the, uh, for the future, you know, years down the line, you know, when this, this is, is, is all this is only going to get worse. So this is, uh, Matthews, uh, 6 and 19, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt and where thieves break through and steal come. So, you know, you see this fraud stuff over here, man, you know. Yeah, that's all you're gonna have, man. This economy is just gonna keep getting worse and worse, man. People are gonna lose their jobs, more layoffs. You know, every single day, man, I search. You know, I see more layoffs, more job uh, losses, no more uh, stores closing. That's hey, that's a lot of uh, that's doing a lot, man. You know, that's doing a lot to this uh, this place, man. And uh. Let me see, uh, let's go back to it. Let me, sh let me shut up. This is, uh, St. Matthew 6 and, uh, 20. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do corrupt. Come on. So, you know, just laying up our, our treasures in heaven. You know, just trying to feed the flock to our best of our ability. You know, whatever the spirit, you know, the spirit, uh, you know, spirit leads you to a video, you know, article, whatever, you know. Hey man, that's that's part of our uh, stacking up treasures in heaven.
you know because jake could easily be like oh you know I could, uh, i'm gonna get a second or a third job you know and do that instead you know and stack up uh <laughs> these earthly treasures you know but then that ain't what's that gonna benefit you you know knowing the future of this place man hey destruction coming to this place you know this is uh but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal con so in the kingdom man we're not gonna have to worry about a uh uh, some some hacker you know you're not gonna have to worry about uh, uh some hacker you know thieving your money taking your money you know you're not gonna have to worry about uh a fraud fraudulent and all this man you know you're not gonna have us pushing no damn chip to be like oh this is this is how you'll be protected you know the kingdom man or uh you know, we're gonna have we're gonna have slaves build with these heathens building up our uh our uh kingdom man you know our kingdom ain't gonna uh our kingdom there ain't gonna be no moth or or uh rust or corrupt you know you know this is uh for where your uh treasure is there will your heart be also kind so we understand there ain't no ain't no damn treasure in this place, man. You know? That's why we We don't uh let me see. We don't set our heart upon them. So this is a uh, Sirach five and one. Set not thy heart upon thy goods and say not I have enough for my life. Console. No, we don't we're not uh like oh yeah you know I, I i i got this money you know or or you know you know you know all the money that you get you know is from you how by shmio shy man you know it says he's nothing for him to uh make a, a poor man rich you know he could take one of these homeless persons living in a park and lift them up to 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 a uh, bill uh, higher than bill gates you know if he wanted to you know it just says uh so five and one, set not thy heart upon thy goods, and say not I have enough for my life, kind. So you know if you, if you brother in this thing you do have, you know, the most I bless you to have a good amount of money, you know. You know, uh, hey man, uh, me personally, you know, that was me for a while, but you know, uh, this scripture fits perfect, you know. Say not uh, I have enough for my life, or you know I'm I'm good, you know. Because the Lord can, hey man, Lord can take that away at any, at any moment, you know. And especially in this time, you know, Most High is is cracking down more, you know, making his his men more uh more uh let me see uh taking his men's mind out of this out of this world, you know. You know the less money, hey, the less money you know you have, the less you uh have dealings with this place you know say jake ain't got enough gas money or something like that jake's not gonna be driving around bsing you know jake gonna be, hey jake gonna be at the house you know hey trying to stack up more treasures in heaven you know that's why scripture says to basically uh oh you know what let's get it Basically, you know, just pray that the Most High just give you enough, man, for today. You know. <clears throat> so this is uh First Timothy six and six, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Kind so. Let's look up that word contentment. Content. Definition. State of happiness and satisfaction. Let me see. Uh, cheerfulness, ease, comfort, well being, peace, serenity, tranquility. Kind of, and most just content, you know. Just content, you know, with, with uh, you know, godliness, you know, laying up these treasures, 
you know, trying to uh, improve on yourself, you know. And then the uh, the contentment, you know, being content with what you do have, you know, that is great game, hey, because. I said, man, these these people, man, they they're losing it. They they're losing jobs left and right, man. People, you know, who had money back in the day, they're uh, they're going they're going broke right now, man. And they can't they can't uh, they're not praying. They don't know the names of the Lord, you know. They they can't pray to get out of that situation, you know. Hey, you can tell them about it, you know. You can tell them the names of the Lord. You can tell them how they can uh. How they need to get uh, their self right out of this uh, this this thinking this mind state of the world, you know? They don't, hey, you know, it wasn't meant for them to to hear that. So you're just gonna continue seeing them go down, you know. It says, uh, for we bought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Kind of so, you know. The clothes you, hey, the clothes you wearing, you know, you not you, you didn't bring this into this world. You know, you, you can't even carry this out of your world, you know, because your spirit, your spirit goes back to the spirit world, not, not your body, you know, it says, uh, and having food and raiment, let us be there with content, kind, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, kind, and into many foolish, hurtful lusts. Which drown men in destruction and perdition. Kind, you know, just was talking about earlier. You know, uh, you know, you you don't have much money. You know, you don't have many dealings in this place. You know, if you got all kind of money, you know, you rich. So you're gonna be trying to uh, get all up in this world. You know, you're gonna uh, hey, a woman, women gonna flock to that. You know, seeing that you got the uh, the money. You know. Married women, you know, you're going to be uh, having all kind of temptations, man. You know, it says, uh, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Kind of, you know, so like I always bring up, you know, the, the, the Bone Thugs and Harmony song, you know, for the love of money. You no, know, all they talking about is doing wickedness to gain that money. You no, know, or sing, slanging rocks. Come on, man. But thou, O man, but thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. God, you know, so we just patiently waiting on the Lord, man. We know something, man, something we can't even explain, man, It's coming to this place, man. I mean, Slaki, it's something that we can't even explain, you know, it's come to us, you know, in the kingdom. You know, ain't, hey, ain't nothing good coming to this place. This, uh, it's a wicked-ass place. This is uh, Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profited not in the day of wrath, kind of. Like you're saying, you know, the day of wrath is coming, man. You know, uh, it speaks of, the scriptures speak of the famine. What what are you going to, uh, you know, what you going to put your trust in in the famine? Your, your your money, you know, your chip, you know, or how about Shemio Shai? But righteousness delivered from death, kind. You know, righteousness, you know, going back into that, these stacking these treasures up in heaven, man. You know, we're trying to stack up more treasures in heaven, man, to uh, gain more righteous points, man, with the Most High. So, Lord willing, we can, we can, hey, so Lord willing, we can be saved in that day of wrath, man. Uh, let me see, slug it. Yeah. Damn, I was gonna pull this out uh Yeah kind of, let's pull it out. Yeah, cause you No, know, you wanna uh the days is getting evil and evil, man. People gotta do more 
wicked stuff to uh, just to gain gain a, a basic income, man. You know. This is uh, Jeremiah two and thirty three. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Wherefore hast thou also taught the wicked one thy ways? Come. So you know, I, I give an example. You know this this uh, the field of work that I'm in. You know, that's always one of the first questions. Uh, or the first things they say, you know, they say, uh, they say, oh, um, oh, can you, uh, can you trim your beard, you know? Is there uh, any way you can uh, trim your beard, you know? Like, like hey, I'd be like, hell, hell no, man. You know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't I'm not, uh, it's, I'm religious, you know, this is religious. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting rid of my beard, you know? And, you know, and they, they, they're, they're getting, as the days is going by, they're getting more uh, afraid. Esau's getting more afraid to ask this question, you know, because you can, there's all kind of lawsuits going on, you know, and then he sees, he sees his, the bigger your beard, you know, he know that he know you ain't going to cut, just cut it off, you know, but, uh, <clears throat> this, uh, Jeremiah 2 and 33, why trimmest thou way, thy way to seek love, con, so, you know, trying to, uh, uh, Kiss, kissing Esau's ass and all that, you know. And uh, try, like I say, trying to trim your beard, you know. I mean, uh, cut, cutting it off, you know. You know, you got some people who cut their damn beard off, you know, just for a job. And that's the most high, it's Yahweh Shemel Shai testing you, you know. Are you going to, uh, you going to stick with the script, you know, or are you going to uh, trust in your own way, you know. Oh, it's it's gonna be a test, you know. Especially at the start, you know they're gonna be oh, you gotta get rid of your beard. You gotta get rid. You might have a job already, and they say oh, you gotta get rid of your beard, you know, or else you gotta go to another job, you know. You know my testimony, you know, spirit it was all the spirit, you know, it wasn't in me. It was just like hey, you know, get hey, get rid of me, you know, send me to another. I I, I get another. I get another job, you know. I don't need that. I don't I don't, I don't need this job. You no know, spirit had it to where, you know, it, it was it was all Satan though, you know. So all of a sudden, I ain't hear, ain't hear no more about about the uh, situation, you know. But uh, let me see. Slacky. <laughs> Come on, Jacob. Try to Lord willing finish it off with this. Uh, Time. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. All right, so, you know, you you in this thing, man. You know, your uh, your soul is mourning. Mourning to leave this 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 place, man. You know, mourning off of this, this wickedness that, that you got to witness, you know. And, uh... It comes to his, uh, Ecclesiastes 72, it is better to go to the house of mourning, you know, so it's, be it's better to go to this, it's better to go through this right now, you know, so Lord, we won't, we won't, we won't be catching that, that hell later, you know, when the rest of these people are catching it, you know, and these people are already catching hell, they're going to catch hell now, we're catching hell for righteousness sake, these people are catching hell now for wickedness sake, and they're going to catch hell in the, in the future, man. You know, says uh, then to go to the house of feasting, con the house of feasting. You know, these uh, these damn oh man, these damn holidays. You know, Halloween parties. You know, Thanksgiving parties, Christmas parties. You know, oh man, all this this folly. You know, uh, the weekend come. You know, everybody just throwing all these parties and party, party, party. You know. Especially is our people, man. That's all they like to do is just party, 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 twenty four seven, man. You know, so it's better, it's better to serve the Most High, man. You know, and, and then to be out here with these people feasting, man. Cause they they don't know they don't know what's going on. They're gonna be taken off guard once all this once Jacob's trouble comes, man. They ain't gonna know what to do. 
For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by sadness of the countenance the heart is made better. The heart is made better. Better. Kind. Uh, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. Kind. So you know the house. It's so not we are in the uh, the house of mourning. You know. We're at you know, the spirit. We're we're the wise ones. You know. Yahweh Shmuel Shai has put the spirit on us to be in the house of mourning. You know. And to be the wise ones. Uh, let me see. Uh, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Kind, you gotta be a stone cold fool, man, to be in this this uh, feasting type of spirit, party, 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 when nothing but destruction is coming to this place, man. You know, you gotta be a stone cold fool, man. Man, this is uh. So Lord, when we continue, you know, to be in this house, the house of mourning. You know, because we know the the stacking up these stacking up these treasures in heaven. We know ain't gonna be no no morning on the other side, man. You know, and the, hey, it's gonna be it's gonna be just all out happiness for eternal. You know, our our world's gonna be without end. You know, so hey man, hey, hopefully uh, hopefully you got some type of edification out of this. You know. I just want to say to Wadi Yahweh by Shmuel Shai for putting the Holy Spirit on me to call it us to do this lesson. Double honors to our elders and apostles for teaching us the truth of this Bible. And shout warm to all you bros pushing this word to the best of your ability. Shout warm.